Howdy guys. All right. We're back at it. Week 14. School is back in session. So, yeah. Back to the basics. It's actually so cold now that it's really hard for me to expose my hands to to like record but I'm just making a quick clip just to like state this fact I got these big huge gloves on and yeah most times my hands are just tucked in the head down and I'm moving <laughs> yeah freezing it feels like ice well ladies and gentlemen the entire school semester is depending on these next two weeks that I am about to embark on well that I am currently embarking on all of my assignments for my classes are due in the next two weeks and so is my final exams today is Thursday of week 14 and I just came out of my second exam for the week which means I only have one more exam left for the entire school semester um, today I took my exam for my tourism operation planning class on Tuesday I took my exam for my tourism management class and these are my final exams by the way and yeah I'm feeling great so I took two out of three final exams I have five classes overall for two of my classes I don't have any finals which is a great thing and yeah so yeah that's that was the biggest thing I had to do this week was take my finals and now that's over with now I can just put all my attention towards completing um, the the um, this course project which was a group project and pretty much I have to complete that this weekend with my group and you know after that I can finally be stress-free and just enjoy the rest of the semester as a breeze but as of right now this is crunch time like <laughs> time the real deal Okay, everybody so on a much more sentimental note we are dwindling down to the last episodes of my NSE vlog and so pretty much as a reflective point um, I'm looking back on my exchange and we were asked to talk about some of our favorite things that happened for this semester on this week's video and so yeah that's what I'm, I'm about to tell you the first thing I believe is like my favorite thing about the exchange is where where we are right now my room um, I lucked out and I got myself this room so yeah I just give thanks for this room and you know I just have to appreciate it because I realized how much I needed my space in during this semester and if I was not able to have my own space I don't think I would have enjoyed this semester as much as I did you know just being able to come home from like cold weather you know I could just unwind and just be completely comfortable in my last room I wasn't comfortable at all and uh, yeah, pretty much it was terrible and I give thanks for this but I have none. I believe my next favorite thing about this semester on exchange will have to be the ping pong community um, There is a lot of players here that that like to play ping pong and there's two tables and yeah like 
like I already told you guys, I like ping pong a lot. So one is good to just have a, a large amount of players to play. Usually um, at my home school and when I was in Hawaii, there was only but so much people that was interested in playing ping pong and like a consistent amount of players that comes back, you know, because when you, when, you, when you play ping pong for a whole semester, you end up getting to know the people that you play with because you, you're seeing the same faces over and over. So usually that's how I make my, like, that's how I communicate with people through ping pong. And here is just a very, like, everyone's so respectful of each other. Um, there's really no, like, fighting over the tables, per se, and, like, who gets to play a, a turn or not. Like, people are willing to give up their turn, if anything. You know, I guess because they're just, like, so much players. I just feel like everybody is so respectful and it's, it's very open. And it's not a really, like, a, it's like a judge-free zone. And I like it. Um... If you never played ping pong before, you should try it. It's really fun, and it's it's one of my meditations. So yeah, the fact that there's a great ping pong atmosphere here at this school, I totally love it. Um, I think another one of my favorite things would have to be the diversity of the campus here at Cape Breton University. Um, <clears throat> I know this school is in Canada, but really not truly, this, this, even just like Cape Breton, Sydney, Cape Breton, like, it's just so international, it's crazy. Sometimes I forget that, like, this is Canada, <laughs> you know, because like, this, this entire community is just so intercultured. There's, well, for one, the majority, that's the thing, it's not even like there's a majority, you know, because, yeah, I see a lot of Indian students, but at the same time, I'm thinking, I see, I see a lot of um, Asian, Asian students as well. I also see African students, multiple. So it's like, I never feel like I'm, I never feel, like an outcast nor do I ever feel like I'm a part of a, a group you know I think that's the wonderful thing about this campus is the fact that you know everyone is coming from different walks of life so there's a sense of okay we let us be our own family here and I feel like that's probably why everybody is so close yes everyone in different cultures but this is is its own culture and that leads me into my next favorite thing about this this camp this semester is I would just say like the culture and just the environment of the people here in the in the school. Everyone everybody is just so like it's they're so willing and it's just like I feel like respect is one of the their high values that they, they look into keeping close. And you can just see that you can just see that the officials care about their students. Um, you see, you see them implementing ideas to make the student body um, more efficient and more like livable, you know. And yeah, I totally like that about this place. Alrighty, people. That is all that I have for week 14. This is the ending of the week. And I listed all of some of my favorite things about this semester on exchange. And just as a wrap up reminder, I am going to take my NSC survey today and I'm just, I just want to remind any NSC students out there that still needs to take the survey. Um, you know, this program is doing a lot for us and in providing us with something worthwhile. So if you just have any time to just take, take it out of your time to let them know what they can do to improve themselves, 
or how you just just your feelings on it i surely know that i will let them know how i feel because they have drastically changed my life in the past year so once again thank you nsc thank you to everyone viewing this video and thank you cape breton university for such a wonderful semester and i will see you guys next week for unfortunately my last video for this vlog with that being said i bid you farewell and don't forget to like and subscribe see ya